Welcome back. Our temperatures are expected to rise on Sunday, but today we're turning up the heat with Chemical Kim. Woo! She, okay, she wants me to faint dead away. She's here along with her son, Luke, to show us how flammable alcohol is. That's right. That's right, Catherine. You know, definitely there are products in your home that contain alcohol. And alcohol looks just like water. It does. I mean, here I have a little small jar of alcohol. Yes. But the difference is if you introduce a flame into this environment. Kaplooey. Yeah, it's not safe. You're, <laughs> That's you're, scientific word, isn't right, it, Kim? Right, not Kaplooey. safe. This that I'm going to teach is actually a good demonstration for teachers, okay? Or if you do have older children, still needs to be assisted by adults because okay. you're basically making a hand flame. Really, because yes, you're okay. igniting, you're, you're, so it's a great lesson, it really is. So this is a good demonstration for teachers. I love this demonstration, but Luke's going to help and um, explain, and I'm going to explain with him too, how this works. Luke, what is this? Do you remember the name oh, of this? Poiser? A piezoelectric piezo. igniter, right? Okay. Where have you seen this around your home? Uh, like electric grill. Right, electric also. grill. Oh, okay. that's the push button. So the yes. push, push yes. button to get okay. the grill to start. Okay. Yes. What's inside here is a quartz crystal, and what happens, a little hammer hits it, and it creates a high voltage. Okay, so um, Luke's going to take that, and then what he has is a lamp wire. Okay. And he sticks one end of the lamp wire onto the center of the piezoelectric yes. igniter, and um, what will be created will be between the two wires will be that high voltage spark. Okay. And then on the size of the igniter, on the side of the igniter is an exposed wire. Yes. And he's going to take the other side of the lamp um, wire and stick it to that. And then we're just going to simply tape that with some electric tape. Uh huh. And now, now again, you guys do some wacky stuff. This fun. is where. Right, <laughs> this is where. Where definitely you want adult supervision because, Luke, would you ever want to put your fingers between those two wires? No. No, because a high voltage is created. And if you look carefully, Catherine, yes. you'll see a little spark that kind of ignites between the two. Okay? Yeah. To show the, the behavior of alcohol, definitely this is an Erlenmeyer flask that looks empty. Yes. Right? Okay? I'm going to, again, a demonstration by teachers only yes. or yes. adults. Oh my! Okay. Did so, you see that? Yeah, like, I did. Very, very small amount, and also it shows the byproduct of water, which is what happens when you combust or you burn an alcohol. Oh, interesting. So okay. we got a little dribble in the bottom of our flask. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So I'm just going to take look, just just small drop amounts. Okay. And while I'm doing this too, I'm going to have Luke kind of finish this demonstration. Only two drops in a film canister. That's the other yes. uh, piece of equipment. Only two drops. If you go any farther than that, you're basically making a hand bomb, which oh, is very dangerous, right? All Just right. a little bit. <laughs> and I am chewing gum for a reason, yes. Catherine, because, you know, the kids say, oh, we, we shouldn't be chewing gum in school because our teachers don't let us. You approve of it. I do, because you can stick a little piece of gum to seal your film canister. All okay. I did was just punch a hole into the film canister, put the wire, the exposed where it makes the yes. high voltage. And Luke is going to warm that, hold that like that, and he's going to warm it in his hand. Yes. And what does that do when you warm it in your hand, Luke? It makes it a gas. Makes, makes it, it a gas, gas right? Okay. Takes the liquid into the gaseous state. Okay. And then from the high voltage, just to show you burning alcohol. I'm so skittish. I'm, you I'm are <laughs> skittish. I'm skittish. <laughs> Waiting for the blow. <laughs> but this is... Oh, I, it actually turned all into a, to a gas, so I'll just add a, just a couple drops, and this is really just to illustrate how much alcohol, um, how flammable it is. Um, we'll let that sit for a second. But okay. what do you think, Luke? Should we give this an attempt? Mm -hmm. Okay, again, something that should be demonstrated by teachers only. Yes, because okay. it's going to go somewhere. Ready? Oh my gosh! How fun is that? It went clear across the studio, and it's we'll next door. A, yeah, we'll be doing a search. It probably landed on News Eight, the, right? <laughs> Good. We'll Shoot another one. It. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we? Is that? Are we done? We've blown yeah, up everything yeah, we can here. Sure. And you definitely want to again have this assisted with adults. I can't emphasize that enough, right? Yeah. So Luke and I important. will just have fun, you know, making okay. some more. Okay. You keep these. blowing them down toward college, and we're going to let you check out Kim's segment again online at WZZM13.com under Take 5 Videos, where you will also find more information on her experiment and get inspired by Kim to teach those kids some great science experiments. Let her blow. Yeah,